Hey guys, welcome back to Yo-Kai Watch Soon. In this episode, we're going after the Oni Eater himself, D. Muncher, and completing Master Nyata's second trial. But before we get to that, I highly recommend you go to Shopper's Row and pick up a marbled beef. It is expensive, but this item is going to save you a whole lot of time in completing this next challenge. Also, I'm going to be using the book, where on earth is it? The Perfect Pest, to turn my Darkinion into a cruel attitude. Now, Unlike other RPGs, you can't control exactly what your yokai do in battle. However, by changing their attitudes, you can sort of lean them into doing a specific action more often. In this case, it's going to increase the chances that Darkinion will inspirit the opponent. Also, and yeah, there's a lot of steps to this, I will be bringing along a Super Star Soul to increase the chances that a yokai will befriend me. Honestly, if you don't have the Super Star Soul, I don't know what you're doing, but you should probably get that. But now that I've said all of those tips, it's time to head up to the top of the mountain and talk to Master Nyata. And now that we've returned to Mount Middleton Summit in the past, Master Nyata is probably exactly where he was before. And I, it's been a really long time since we've talked to him. How you holding up there? And oh, good. The game. Does this mean you're ready for the next trial? That's exactly what that means. And uh, I think so. After this, will I finally master the hose? <laughs> Perhaps, child. Perhaps the hoes will have mastered you. He, he dodged the question again. <laughs> well then, are you ready to begin? I actually am. Now that we're a higher level, we can finally take on the second trial. And yes, what do I have to do? Well, naturally, you will find an incredibly strong enemy. Another tough fight, huh? So who's it going to be? I believe you've already met the mantra. At last. I will devour you! Uh, but hang on. We already beat him! Have you now? Pay attention, child. Okay. The first time you fought, Dimantra was not at full strength. But he was so strong! So strong? <laughs> I was at my absolute weakest. Oh, no! But... Why didn't you use all of your strength against us? Because... I had just woken up, of course. What kind of excuse is that? So you see, you're finding a sleepy yokai who had not yet had his morning coffee. <laughs> this fight will be different. He'll definitely try to eat you. Yes. I have hungered for this battle. Now, now, Demuncher. Let's not count on our young hero. <laughs> Yeah, thanks for having some confidence in me, Master. I'm sure there will be an even match. Now fight one another at full strength! Uh, right this second? Take your time. My appetite will only grow. Oh. Well, maybe I shouldn't take my time in that case. Uh, I guess we're ready as ever, so... The annoying thing is we can't save before this battle and soft reset and keep fighting and we have to come up the mountain over and over again and... So, are you ready to be devoured? Not necessarily, but hey, I'll start the battle anyways. Great. Let's begin the first course. Oh, there's one more thing. In order to pass the trial, you must do more than simply defeat Demuncha. You must demonstrate the true strength. And win him over! In other words, you must take Demuncha into the opposite of an enemy! So we have to befriend him, right? No problem! If by some miracle you defeat me, what makes you think I'll be your friend? Well, I, I, I guess I just assumed... So, we have to win the battle and befriend an unfriendly yokai. Well, that sounds tough, but I'll give it a shot. Let's go, Demuncha! I'm at full strength. Let's see what you've got. And so the battle begins versus D. Muncher of the Brave Tribe. Now, the first time we battled him, it was really tough because his skill basically heals him if he defeats any of your yokai, which is a really big pain since you have six. So that means he can just keep eating them over and over again. But first thing we need to do is toss the marble beef. Once we've done that, we won't get his item to turn in. Oh man, we're getting super lucky here. So he's channeling his ultimate first. And oh my gosh, we got the Inspirement. Okay. So for the spot, so for the spot. 
Oh, we found it. Okay, it was on the top left of his head. Great, great, great. So now that we have that going, the Inspiriment is still on Demuncher, so all of his stats are going to be down. And I'm not going to speed up for this battle because I want to make sure I do this correctly. He's at, like almost half HP. He's going to get open wide off. Hopefully it does not go for... Okay, it didn't go for QB. And Unikirin tanked that like a boss. That is thinking amazing. So debuffing a boss yokai is sometimes hard to do, but technically, Demuncher isn't a boss. So he's just a normal yokai in this sense. Which means he'd be befriended and... Oh man, we're bluffing around and guarding. That's not good. So having Darkinion here using his debuff is going to help us out a lot. Also, he's an earth attribute, so any win yokai are going to be... Ri Holy crud, we actually beat him. Okay. I made that look way easier than it actually is. d Muncher's physical attacks are through the roof, and if he just keeps eating you over and over again, he's gonna do so much damage, man, and... Ah, oh, dang it, we didn't get him. Oh, well, there's always next time, and we did it! But... He didn't want to be friends with us. Of course not. You think it'd be that easy? I'm just getting warmed up. Oh, really? We just beat you. <laughs> you think I'm just bragging? Then witness the extent of my powers. <laughs> Everyone calm down. Hey, Muncher, you did just lose. However, I didn't seem impressed with your strength. You must look inward and be honest. It was it bad luck or something else? That was definitely bad luck, Master. In any case, the fight is over. For now, come back another time. Then try again. May the holes be with you. Thank you, Master. So yeah, now we have to wait 24 hours to fight him again. Kinda stinks, and... <laughs> I wasn't even trying my best. You'll have to do better than that. Go eat your veggies. Get stronger. Then try again. I fail to see what vegetables have to do with this, but anyways, now that we've done that, I'm gonna soft reset my game, and hopefully we'll be a little bit luckier next time. No way! That was like my third try! Heck yeah! Demonstrate befriended us and- What do you mean I lost? Be my friend! Um, if you say so, Demonstrate. <laughs> I don't have any opposition there. Demonstrate! Will join the party, and man, I just love the arena you fight him in. It's all like, you know, Wendy and anyways. Before we name him... Marv. Marv is one of the nicknames you can give Demuncher. The other ones are okay, but just... When you see this yokai, do you think... I bet he's named Marv. No, you don't! I just think that's pretty funny on the localizer side of things. But yes, we will finally get this yokai added to our team. And oh my goodness, I can't wait to use him. And did I mention he's also a yokai that unlocks a legendary? So getting him is pretty darn important. But man, I'm so excited to use that yokai. He's so stinking cool. And... We did it, but we still have to befriend him. What do you say, Demuncher? Well, your strength is impressive, and that's all I have to say. This is ridiculous. It was a test of strength, and we were stronger. That's rich. Coming from the one who didn't do any fighting himself. <laughs> He's got you there, Whisper, and yeah, that's true. Demonch has acknowledged your power, and that is enough to complete the trial. Um, okay. S say, unrelated, how many more trials are there gonna be? We did three last time, but we're only on trial number two right now. The past is the past. Now is our now. But they do come in sets of three. Um. <laughs> <laughs> sets of three? Yes. The sorts of things are always in trilogy. They're not even trying to hide. It's a Star Wars. Okay. Here's the way of the holes. I don't know how I feel about my fate being controlled by a hose. Wait, so if this is a trilogy, that means the next one is the last. Precisely. When the time comes, you will face your last trial. Probably. <laughs> Can't be direct with me, Master? May the hose be with you. May the hose be with you too, Master. But yes, we fight. Honestly, I don't know how I don't know how hard it is to recruit D Muncher, but that didn't take long at all. It was kind of a pain to like have to start from the Mirapo at the very bottom of the mountain and come all the way back up and go through the dialogue again with Demuncher, but that wasn't too bad at all. And we're even getting a hidden hits and our bonus soon will be, come on jackpot. I don't even know what the jackpot for this one is. Oh, probably not that, yeah. Little on the uh, sad side. Now we could do the final trial right now, but 
I'll be honest with you guys, the battle against Demuncher was already pretty tough, but yes. Man, I don't want to have to do this, but honestly, Demuncher is an S rank yokai, and his strength set is through the roof. While his skill may not be the best thing on Earth, it's still a lot better than Lionheart's, so this might be the last time we use him in battle, but man, he's so stinking powerful. It is true his spirit stat's probably a little bit too high, but you're, ne you're never going to get a yokai that is perfect in every regard, but yeah, we'll get rid of some defense and put that equipment on. Eh, not bad, but yeah, he's even got higher stats than Hovernyon, and Hovernyon's like 20 levels higher than him, like... Just think about that, that's how strong this yokai is, but yeah. Let's check out his entry in the medallion. I'm a little bit curious, and I always forget to do this, I gotta get better about that, but a terrifying yokai who can open his huge mouth and swallow monsters whole. He has very bad indigestion. <laughs> Love this guy, man. Honestly, his design, his concept, his color scheme, they just, they're really, really cool, and he's even based off a really cool character in Japanese mythology, I think it's Japanese, I'm pretty, it might be. Don't really recall, I'm pretty sure... Okay, I know it's Eastern, but it might be Chinese, I have to check it out, but... I'm gonna turn him into a rough nature, because honestly, his attacks are pretty stinking powerful. And I'm gonna use the book's hidden hits to make him a bit stronger. Maybe use some EXP orbs to make him a higher level, but... Something I haven't really talked about too much is what these books do, so basically... Every yokai has a certain skill stat, and now that Demuncher has a skill stat of 7 in his attack, oh boy, he's gonna be doing some serious damage, but showing is always better than telling. So let's check out what he can do in battle. And you guys pretty much get the drill by now. We get a new yokai, come to the Infant Inferno, and beat up a boss, and I think... No, it wasn't actually over here. We have a shortcut that will take us to the next boss pretty quickly, actually. We're kind of just barreling through this place now that we've been leveling up the appropriate amount and oh gosh don't really want to battle another Greasel. I still haven't recruited him but not really my forte. Really there's nothing new here? Holy crap. Well, kind of disappointed by that but oh well hopefully we can show off a little bit of what the sixth circle has to offer. And really there's no new yokai? I, can, I guess we'll just have to show off the muncher in battle first but I think yeah, this has to be the boss room if there's no yokai spawning here, so we just pretty much walk straight to the boss. Doctor No Gut, just, oh wow, <laughs> just getting that close to him initiates the battle, that's kind of funny, but uh, yeah, he's pretty strange. And say, Nate, would you like to eat when we get out of here? Uh, what? Is he bored? No, he's just thinking about dinner, you know, he's your butler after all, he's gotta cook. Even though I don't think I'd eat anything that Whisper cooked me, but basically, the whole idea behind this boss battle is that throughout it... Oh my gosh, that damage! 132?! Holy cr- Okay. That's insane, but the gimmick to this boss battle is Dr. Noga is gonna spawn a bunch of hearts throughout his, like, lab, and we have to, like, pin- Oh my gosh, I'm missing so much. And pinpoint them. Now, a little trick that you can do is wait for him to channel this attack, and as long as you pop all of the hearts, it will reveal his weakness and- Oh, sweet money. Now we can just get some free hits in. Now let's see what Demuncher can do. Honestly, he has his spirit... Or actually, he has his inspirement. That's not increasing his spirit. He has his attack up. I want to see how strong this yokai can get, man. If we're replacing... Holy crud! I know he has a buff and everything, but that was triple the damage that Hovernyon can do. And Hovernyon is, like, stinking powerful, man. But, yeah, this is why I don't like to really speed up with this battle. His, uh, experiments are kind of a pain in the butt. Also, yeah, you pretty much need to keep track of the hearts at all times. God dang, I knew that our <laughs> lemon-headed friend, like seriously, you check him from the back, he kind of looks like a lemon. Well, it's gonna be powerful, but not that powerful, holy crud, and QB is in spirited. All right. I hate this minigame so much. I could just, like, back out of it, and, uh, okay, we got it like, get a different minigame, but honestly that takes too much time and crud. Uh, this is actually not going my way right now, there's a lot of inspiriting, or uh, inspirits to remove. And I need to get better about that, uh, let's pop that heart, and so far we're doing fun- oh my gosh. This guy loves to inspirit, man, and Darkneon probably isn't gonna be able to do too terribly much. Seal up Demuncher, I doubt he's- oh my gosh, he missed. I doubt he's ever gonna get off his skill, but that's fine because it's a boss battle, let's instead show off his ultimate attack, which is open wide. <laughs> Just, I love how he grabs the camera and, whoa, 209. 
Oh my gosh, did you just see? He just did over 360 damage in an instant. Demuncher, holy crap. I know he had his like, you know, attack up and everything, but dang, that damage was ridiculous. So if you're facing like a single target, Demuncher might actually be a great yokai to have. And a common thing with yokai and yokai watch one are that they just hit everything on screen, which is okay, but I need to pop that before we move. Hopefully no one hits, okay. QB went for the uh, enemy, and oh gosh, no, Demuncher, you're not allowed to eat my unicorn, stop that! Alright, I wasn't even looking at the bottom screen, which is why that took a while, but seriously, uh, this battle, not really that bad, I'm just more impressed how much damage that he can pump out, you know? That's insane, like, oh man. <laughs> I mean, I know using all Brave Tribe Yokai is kind of the easy way to beat the game, but seriously, man, Demuncher's a monster, and all right, we stopped him from channeling that again. That's good. Let's get in the key. Oh my gosh. This this whole battle's literally just been me removing its spirit mints. And dang it. If Dark Union actually got that off, that would have been really, really good. Oh well, that's fine. My Yokai are battling while I'm removing the spirit mints. Now let's get our Braves out again. And man, I just. I'm like really impressed with how strong Demuncher is. Like, seriously. I knew his stats were, like, above average, but seriously, check that out. I know multiple hits are technically better in the... Are you serious? All right, I'll break up my rule and speed up again, because, <laughs> yeah, not much we could really do about that. I think we can just end the battle the way it is. Ooh, no, we can't. So, I was not expecting that damage, but as I was saying, technically multiple attacks are better than single target, because... The chances for you to get a crit are a lot higher, and I am going to just hope that Shogun Yun can finish off Dr. No Gut. When you say that fast enough, it sounds like Dr. Nugget, which makes me really want some chicken, but you're not getting that blood refill off. Get out of here, Dr. No Gut. For shame to think you could ever get that attack off on me, but yeah, just a Dr. Madman palette swap. Nothing really too terribly tough. His experiments do get kind of ridiculous, though, and for winning that battle. Oh, man. Gonna get a lot of EXP. Well, actually, it's not too terrible. More importantly, we're getting some money, which is really nice, considering how much I had to spend to get those hidden hits books. But oh well. Let's now go to the sixth circle of the Infinite Inferno, and maybe now I can show off what Demuncher's skill. Oh yeah, the perfect on a different yokai. So Copper Lead isn't a yokai. I'm like, oh, man, Tain's Roni. That's kind of different. Copper Lead's nothing really super interesting, but at least be a good test subject for this and. I don't even know if I took the Superstar Soul off of Hovernyan or not. And you remember to check that at the end of the battle, but... Demuncher's skill... Oh gosh, Shogunyan got knocked out. Um, Sadly, doesn't heal as much as you think it would. I don't know if it's tied to any of his other stats, like his spirit stat, or maybe his spirit... or technique rank, maybe? But it just doesn't heal that much. It'd be really great if he healed like a flat amount, like 20%. That'd be pretty strong, and I'll take the lead. I'm pretty sure that just increases... strength? For the whole part, yeah. Okay, straight away. Oh, that crow. That's a lot up. That's not good. Um, we should still be fine, though. I don't really worry too much about it. But yeah, um, I think that'd be. Oh gosh, we lost him. Well, now I need to revive him because I just want to show off this one aspect of this one yokai, so we can have a complete episode. But yeah, it doesn't heal for like a ton. Like 50, 50 health is like whatever, you know. Like it's like about a four, I think like a fourth of his HP pool. And oh snap. Like another item. Okay, cool. There's actually an item that we now want to start going after on this floor, but yeah, it's not a ridiculous amount of HP. The game would be a little bit too easy if we could heal just 100 HP every time we beat an opponent, but oh well. And yeah, we got another grand bracelet. I'll t what? We got a copper lead? Um, we ought to be pals. Well, that's debatable. Sure. Copper lead. Will join our party, and no, I don't have a nickname for him. I wasn't really going after him, but hey, now we got some more slippery yokai for Venok to party up with. Man, so far all the slippery yokai have been kind of eh, not really that great. That's I think the problem with that tribe. The <gasps> no way. Okay, I don't know if this is a rare spawn or not, but this is Chai Mera. I've been waiting so long to stick and talk about this yokai. And we really need to heal up. I should not have um, <laughs> gone to battle him so quickly, but this yokai is an S rank. And it's based off one of my favorite characters, or not characters, but creatures from Japanese mythology, the new way. And oh, snap, he's loafing around. Uh, let's get the heart. Now, I really want to recruit this yokai for a variety of reasons. I don't know how strong he is or how rare he is, but shock tactic. Um, Oh, gosh. 
That's not good. Uh, he's a mysterious tribe yokai, though, and I just love Nue so much. It's such a cool concept for a yokai, and for those who aren't familiar with him, he's basically like a mix of a bunch of, like, he's like a monkey with a snake's tail, and he's kind of like has tiger stripes, too. It, it's very strange, and yokai's been very good at, uh, making his appearance very faithful. But yeah, the only Chinese suit I have with me at the moment, oh, there goes Hover Neon. Isn't really the highest quality, so I'm definitely gonna come back here and try and recruit him a bit later. And how did I fit? Oh, he got knocked out. That's why I failed to uh, get that friend befriendment chance up. But I want to get this yokai so bad, but for multiple reasons that I'm gonna be farming him. He has a chance to give you a special item, which can let you befriend pretty much another S rank yokai pretty easily. So you know I'm all about that, and crud, we didn't get it. That's a bummer, but. Yeah, we didn't befriend him either. Crud. <laughs> that wasn't very fruitful at all, was it? But yeah, I don't know if there's any more shortcuts actually in the Infinite Inferno, but if we see another one of those Chimera, I definitely want to fight him again. But his name, I'm not the biggest fan of. I think keeping Nue would have been fun because the problem with the like classic yokai is some of the names from Japanese are still fine. Like even Kyuubi, for example, that's kind of his Japanese name too. But I guess they didn't really want to do that with some of them. And wait, there's a chest bag there I want to grab. Hopefully that'll be something good. But one specific yokai, I know a galaxy charm. That's pretty cool. One specific yokai that I'm trying to still get from the Krankakai. I loved their Japanese name so much. I was so hoping. Oh wait, okay, I need to make sure we're healed up before we fight that next uh, group of Chimera. But as I was saying, the specific yokai is a character I Absolutely adore from Japanese folklore, and I was hoping they'd keep the name, but they kind of didn't. But yeah, let's fight the Chimera again. Maybe we'll recruit them. And oh, this time there's a Tantroni. That's cool. Um, do I have any more Chinese food? No, I don't, because it's, it's usually behind the vegetables. All right, I'll just chuck a Nom Burger at it. It's a high quality food. He might appreciate it. He chewed it. Hey, that's good. But uh, yeah, I'm not sure how strong. Oh gosh, I'm not sure how strong these yokai are, but. The only thing I dislike about them, honestly, is that, like, their neutral, like, position... Okay, that was really easy to find. It doesn't really showcase what the yokai does. Like, they're at a very weird angle, and I assume they're, like, basing that off a, like, specific picture in Japanese mythology or something, or, like, just some artwork in general. But it's not really my cup of tea. I really would appreciate it if, like, we saw the yokai from a different angle, but oh well. If every yokai was just facing the front, I guess things would get kind of tedious. And holy crud, these guys are tearing through me. Uh, let's chuck another Nyan Burger at QB. Um, let's try and sh stop that shock tactic. Even if it hits anybody, though, it's not a big deal. We still have, like, a bunch of brave yokai can tear through them. And I like the little drum it plays there. It's like, cha-cha, man. Choose the attack. I assume that's something in Japanese too, but yeah, we're not inspiriting these yokai. And that's the problem, because they're probably not going to join me. Can I get the rare? And don't take a break, come on. Mm. You would take a break after the battle's over. See, that's what happens when you just sit there doing nothing. And no, you're not getting that attack off, sir. Demuncher, get. Okay, I'm making the soul that forces our yokai to not loaf around in the next episode, I swear. I'm not even sure how to make it, but I will make it. And hopefully. We befriend Chimera. Oh, well, I got the perfect pest. That's a pretty good book to get. In. I thought it was gonna be Chimera. God, <laughs> come on, Tantra. Okay, let me think about this. I technically could use him to get a stronger, higher level soul. So yeah, join my party. Why not? But you probably won't be allowed for a long Tantroni. Sorry to say, but. Yeah, that's the sixth circle of the Infant Inferno. Currently, there isn't really too much to explore down here, and I think we saw pretty much what D-Muncher could do, so I think now is a good place to stop for this episode, but thank you all so much for watching. In the next part, I don't know about you, but I could kind of go for a workout. <laughs> Anyways, see you guys in the next episode where we go after a very energetic yokai. Bye.